when volcanic eruptions in oceans create new volcanic islands how this lifeless island change into a rich green beautiful island when a glacier retreats from a certain patch of land how that patch becomes so beautiful green landscape during course of time what happens when a fire burned a forest and it regenerate its plants and animal diversity after times simple answer is ecological succession so in this video we shall learn pioneer species primary succession secondary succession and their comparison most students think that primary and secondary succession occur one after the other or they are two steps of succession but that's a misconception how they are different with respect to conditions of land and timeline stay with us to learn primary succession newly exposed bare lands are low in minerals required by higher plants have basic ph and there is very low percentage of nitrogen in such deficient and harsh conditions the first pioneers to invade and grow on this bare land are lichens lichens are the pioneer species to grow first in newly exposed lands pioneer species are those which start the biodiversity in a newly farmed or newly exposed lands lichens basically produce acids that slowly decrease the ph to acidic and when they die they contribute organic matter to the land which form small layer of soil with passage of time after this step the land is slightly favorable for mosses to grow other factors like dust debris blown by wind and even insects and spiders accumulate and help in formation of soil layer when a soil layer is formed the land become feasible for intermediate species like herbs and shrubs this natural process continues and the land ultimately become enriched with higher plants and trees and final community is reached which is stable and termed as climax community climax communities remain stable until another disturbance reach and again the cycle may start the timeline for primary succession vary based on conditions it may take centuries to reach climax community animal species also come and live depending upon the types of food they eat and kind of shelter available so plants and animal communities develop side by side remember that primary succession also occur in aquatic habitats like ponds and lakes if they are newly formed basic difference is algae grows first in wet habitats then lichens this whole process right from bare land to climax community is called primary succession now you have noted that we have not discussed secondary succession so far because that is different from primary succession let's discuss it now secondary succession well secondary succession does not occur in bare or newly exposed lands but it occurs where already a climax community was present and due to natural disasters like forest fires earthquakes landslides etc the community is destroyed apparently but soil and some deeper roots or remnants of plants are still present beneath the earth as well as nearby areas it is rapid than primary succession and may reach climax community under 100 years grasses usually grow first then higher plants start appearing with shrubs and nature restore itself with animal diversity side by side now it is clear that primary and secondary successions are two types of succession not steps of succession now open your notebook and write the points which you have learned as the difference between primary and secondary succession 